Uh, the colonists believed that uh, Parliament had no right to tax the American colonies because the American colonies didn't have any direct representation in Parliament. So this is what the phrase, no taxation without representation, means. It meant that if the American colonists have no right to vote for representatives in Parliament, then Parliament as a body had no right to, uh, to tax, and some even thought that Parliament didn't have any right to legislate for the colonies either. Once the Americans make that decision, then it's not clear that the Americans belong in the British Empire at all. Um, so not every American in 1773 was willing to go that far, but they're only a couple of years away from drawing that conclusion, right? The Americans voted for their own local legislature. Le local legislature. Those guys, they voted for them. They were, you know, elite white men at least were represented in those legislatures, and, um, and those local legislatures taxed the land and property of uh, the American colonists. That struck them as fair. Parliament, sitting 3,000 miles away with no re direct representation from America, um, maybe it was okay for Parliament to enact commercial legislation and, you know, and say, well, no, you can't trade with the French during wartime. That, that struck them as a reasonable sort of law. Uh, but the idea that Parliament could directly say, you must give us three pennies for every pound of tea you import, that was something that struck the Americans as offensive. And it had struck them as offensive ever since the Stamp Act of 1765, uh, which really was, uh, would have been a very invasive tax on every legal document and newspaper and, uh, and, other, and other printed material in the colonies. Uh, to them, the tea on tax, uh, even if it was a small thing, even if, um, uh, you know, one thing that I uh, often remind people is that the Tea Act was going to make tea cheaper for Americans. It was actually going to have less of an impact on their pocketbook uh, 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 than, than you think. So it's not higher taxes and higher priced tea that the Americans are objecting to. Uh, it's, actually the f it's actually just the principle, right? The idea that, well, all of a sudden we're being seduced into getting cheaper tea. Um, and once we accept the idea that, oh, we'll, take, we'll pay the tax so the tea is still cheaper, once they're seduced into that mindset, then Parliament will say, okay, great, the floodgates are open, let's tax every single thing the Americans buy from Great Britain. Uh, and, and so that kind of slippery slope argument was the reason why people like Samuel Adams were really trying to hold the line and say, no, we have to insist on this principle of no taxation without representation, or there'll be no end to the types of taxes that Parliament will want to levy on us. So again, right, it's not the idea of taxes themselves. It's not even the idea of goods, imported goods being more expensive um, that's worrisome to them. It's the principle and the slippery slope and the, and the dangers that were, um, uh, that were around the corner that really concerned the Americans. And, uh, and it was their relationship with the British government that was at stake.